This is not bad. What is that? Six? It doesn't have the depth on it. Yeah. So the depth gives you the bit depth gives you the depth of the image. What, what I do now is I reduce the eight bit input to six bit and run dithering over it. And let's have a look at the, this dithering algorithm because this is always in place. This is one of the big differences between an oppo and this solution that you have very very good dithering applied, which 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 stresses the video card to, pretty much to its limit. Mm -hmm. So what do you, what do you if you're going to do something off a physical disk? What do you usually plug into this thing? Oh, I didn't get the question. So let's say you, you say you have a UHD yeah. disk. Yeah. Do you, do you just get a normal player, but you handle all the processing in here. Oh, you want to, want to feed it from an external player, right? Yeah, yeah. So you, okay. you so you just give it like a, an HDMI in. Like a yeah, you just do an HDMI, HDMI two point Yeah, whatever. I mean, so if I let's say you have Blu rays, you, and you you, you don't have a, you don't have them all burnt or whatever, you want to just yeah, feed it to it's it. It's just the same thing. It's just an hard drive. You it's, mount it. You, you would you would use a, a HDMI capture card yeah. and connect your player to the capture card, so you get the audio and video stream into the computer and then run it through the processor. But the, the, no, he's the, talking about paying it'd be, it'd be basically a dumb transfer because it wouldn't do the processing in the the Blu-ray thing player wouldn't do the processing. Yeah, Blu -ray, yeah. It, it would just be just, just a transport. It just, it just, transport, it, yeah. just like right, okay. uh, you would use the internal decoders and probably the internal chroma assembly but nothing else yet. So it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt this would be able to operate at this level feeding <laughs> it from an external player. Yeah. Yeah okay. That, 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 Long way of asking that question. But yeah, okay. Um, okay. Let me just show or demonstrate this dithering thing. If we don't apply any dithering, it will look like that. Wow. I'm three I'm bits. Not, I'm not joking. Because we're three bits. We are th it's three bits. Wow. So it will be on what. Let's do it even. Let's make the example even more telling. Let's go to two bits. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So, and now we get differing, and we have differing algorithms, and the more power your graphic card, because all the processing of Match 4 is done with the, on the graphic card, on the GPU. Yeah. So, the more power you have on your graphic card, the more sophisticated algorithms you can use. This is like the first step of quality. You still see. See the problem here. Yeah, right. Then you get the next step of quality, another algorithm. It gets a lot smoother. And then this is really taxing. You need a very a recent CPU to make to make error diffusion happening. And then you get a real, a yeah, real yeah, almost usable output at two bit. Look wow! At that. Look so at that. you can use that for like uh, internet stuff. No, well, no. That, 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 that this was just a demonstration. It is applied to your eight bit, mm -hmm. to well, your eight bit stream as well. Oh, so so it's, that's it's, the issue. Is yeah. not, it's not hurting the good the good picture. What you, what you can do is take a streaming source and, and make, make it, it better and make it seem like it's not compressed. You, I would say that's, a, that's a zone the for that. Application. The other application is if you have a, a display like this one, which does support twelve bit uh, input, you can you can take the eight bit uh, of a Blu-ray and basically. make a virtual and use dithering to increase the quality just like you do here with with your three bit input. So you actually can almost actually two bit. Yeah. Oh two bit, sorry. So but you, this you is this simulate is. the bit depth of having a, a UHD yeah. uh, basically you're simulating yeah. UHD bit depth with a Blu-ray. Right. I, I just yeah. I was just showing the wow. uh, I was that's uh, pretty very good point. Very yeah, good, very very good. Good. I was just showing the, the the power of this dithering yeah, yeah. because okay. at eight bit and twelve bit you don't see it uh, so clearly. Okay, so if the beam, then, you put then, you have, then you have it programmed based on the source. It, is, it knows the source. You you match the dithering to the source. Right. Oh, so you just, just, so, just, so every time you play a Blu-ray, it's twelve bit. <laughs> right. That's, yeah. That's the point. Yeah. Very, it's very powerful. If, yeah. if, if the source is eight bit. Yeah. It, do you bet it, do you gain anything by uh, outputting ten bit? Yeah, that was my so, uh, my point. If you if you don't use this this elaborate uh, differing algorithms, you you don't benefit at all. Okay. 
but w what we are doing now it, it, that's the same thing we that's a simulation of a two bit uh, input yeah different to an eight bit output can you show a uh, it would it, it, it's working the same way sorry it is working the same way with 8-bit input to a 12-bit output, but the the the, the, uh, the difference yeah. is not so obvious. I okay. just I just made this example to to dramatize a bit. Yeah, to dramatize a bit. But yeah. put it all the way here at the top and let's see. I got yeah. 10-bit. 10-bit, and now we get apply. That's what give it the depth. To what else can we? Uh, 8-bit. Let's let's we we are at 8-bit output at the moment. So we go 8-bit and we use the most elaborate, I prefer this by a small margin, yeah. <laughs> this guy <laughs> yeah, I, I played around with you know, you have like a, a 200 or 1000 combinations of, of stuff. I always, uh, uh, man, TV, I never knew that it had these options in there, I never show them, I never uh, dove far enough into the program to learn yeah. any of this. He's it's pretty much a work in progress still, so he is adding adding new functions How about that picture? all the right? time. So you get a free you, you get a free upgrade of new functions. So when you like see now the Sony demand. at the yeah. show, you yeah. see yeah. the difference, you know. Yeah. For example, this three G three D loot uh, import was just integrated like. What I like to see is the scaling to four K. Yeah, it would be amazing. So we're gonna do that. We don't have to exit this. Sorry, that's probably true. You do all your scaling in this too, wouldn't you? Of it's course, much, much, much you do everything here. Much, much better. Scaling. That's why I don't mind putting a second card. So I, I would put a second card. That's just one example um, of the processing with the dithering. The smooth motion is. I have all. Oh, I have analyzed this. We can have a look uh, later, perhaps. If you have just the possibility to have 60 hertz display and uh, 23p uh, content. It will chatter a lot, mm -hmm. and this this function uh, just makes sure that uh, if the refresh rate doesn't match the input, uh, it will it will smooth out uh, the chatter. But it is not interpolating or something like that. It is not calculating uh, any pictures in between, so new pictures. But it's just um, it's just applying a very smooth transition from one frame to the other cons uh, considering the refresh rate, uh, refresh rate. So it's interpolating somehow? No, it's not. No, 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 no. You don't lose any quality. It is not interpolating. Okay. It's not uh, It's adapting. Any. It's more adaptive. It, it's adapting, yeah. It's adapting to the to the output. Um, let's have a... That's so just you basically set your inputs. You optimize, store it, and then whatever gets whatever comes in, it figures out what it is. Yeah. And it takes 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 a few days really yeah. to 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 configure the thing for any given or for any possible input you can you can have. Yeah. So you configure it once and it has this logic of knowing this is the input right. and these are the filters to apply now and this is the configuration to apply now. Or even this is the room to send it to. Yeah. It's like it gives the user the control of making their this own gear. Huh? In audio and video. Yeah. So now we are going. The interlacing. This is also of very high quality. Uh, we don't have an interlaced source now, so we can. It is just applied when it's needed. You see, you can uh, you can even force it in film mode, whatever. This is very high quality. I think uh, there are hardly any any special processes that can match this quality. Well, what's amazing on this is so you want to improve your video. Two years, the next greatest video card comes out. You right. just plug it in and yeah. boom! It's, you know, it it gives you an upgrading point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And you can pick exactly your shots. Whatever you want to upgrade, that's yeah. where you spend your money. Yeah. And so, and if the, something the, fails, not the whole yeah. unit is obsolete. Yeah. You just exchange it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, that's, that's brilliant. Does it have diagnostics in it or not? They still work on that. What do you mean with diagnostics? So you get a fail. So you, so let's say you wanted to. Let's say you were trying to support this thing. Yeah. And you had a failure. Yeah. Is there diagnostics? You oh, right. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. It has, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll show you later. Okay. It has, yeah, you have to show it has a complete failure log. You can uh, you can 
you can administer it from from remote with remote control, and because you have that's, that's what I asked. and, I and all answered, all yeah. failures yeah. are written into a log with exact yeah. Just, yeah. yeah okay. It's a it's a, yeah. <laughs> I'm a better tester for this program, so I do it quite often that uh, that it uh, fails on me, and I have to send in the log, and and they figure out what the problem was. This is brilliant. I mean, this is brilliant. Um, I, I can see why you're so interested in this. This is <laughs> well. I mean, the value proposition you could do with something like this is just you know. You're, you, you're I'm more interested in the degree of customization and perfection. Well, that's what I mean. I mean, but you're not. You're you're creating huge amounts of value, right? Uh, but you're not char it, the cost of what it takes to put it together. It's is just no, it's is more no, the, the it's, expert it, interface. Yeah, but it's no, yeah. it's nowhere near what you know all the custom hardware is. Right. You know, of yeah. like of yeah. like a DSP type solution. Like the you video know. processors, like yeah. fourteen thousand dollar video processor. Yeah. You know, but I'm just saying, it's just it's it, you can do so much more. And bring it in at a, a much more reasonable price with yeah. this kind of. Approach. Okay, so what else can we make to make this look the best? You don't have the to best. Throw, you never have to throw it away either. That's the other thing. You know, it's really nice. Yeah. What else can we do? It's just a couple of sharpness filters that go way beyond your typical edge enhancement or detail extraction or whatever you call it. Um, should we have a look at that? Yes, please. Okay, I can. Three algorithms that are very advanced and they are constantly in development. So if he finds uh, an algorithm that works better with no trade offs, he just integrates it here. So that's, you, you will get free upgrades like on a monthly basis. Is, this a, is this a subscription model? Or no, no. It's well, most, you buy the software for 50 bucks. The software itself is like 50 bucks and, and the customers. Holy oh, crap. Yeah, the Jira River is. <laughs> it doesn't cost anything, pretty much. And this, but this. I told you to download it the other day. This is not integrated, so I get I get the free updates from from Matthias for this stuff. Uh, yeah, and then I try it out and I find a setting which works best, and then I configure a system that way. Um, Sorry. Okay, just to make the point, I just go. All the way up with this sharpness thing. Should Ooh. No. Let me let me do it that filter away. It's a bit critical with the mouse here. I show you the picture without this implied. So this is. Basically. That's a typical DCI picture. Then you can, uh, I hope. That's a little too much. much. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't apply it on the fly, I think. That's good. Press the yeah, hit the fly button on the lower right. Yeah. There you go. I think my version is pretty old because it doesn't have all. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> As mentioned, it's, it's a one release version every month, I think. Uh, <laughs> So you must be like 48 no, really. No, it's, it's a lot sharper. You see? Yeah. Nice. Amazing. You get basically, I mean. What I'd like to do though, I, I, I would like to. Is like better theaters even have this kind of stuff? I don't know. Like yeah. IMAX does. IMAX. So I just show the, the configuration I prefer. Yeah. Let me, let me give you. Peter. Yeah. When we get 4K Blu-ray, you think how long before we're able to rip it? A month. That's it, really? Yeah. Or you just feed it externally into the PC. It yeah, you put a black magic. These are black yeah. magic cards. Yeah. Let go ahead and build a piece, build a PC for him. That's a pretty amazing. I'll pay you. This is without, without my filter. <laughs> well, you also gotta give us some money for CD because I just no, went through we, eight thousand uh, bucks, and we need to eat uh, CD. Oh, we need another shot. But have no, uh, that's a bad one. Judge that. Uh, let me just wait for a close up. It's oh my god. Yeah, now there will be light. So we apply, we apply it. Uh, 
know, it, it was a talk shot, probably. Chroma sharpening. Here you go. What Fruja did. This is with good. Ah. Look at that. Free tech shop. It doesn't have if I, if, I, if it anybody doesn't. walked in the room and said, I'm showing you 4K UHD, they're going to say, oh, wow, it's amazing. Let's, let's. It is, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. For argument's sake, let's disable it again. But you're going to put it back to, uh, to. Uh, yeah. So what do we uh, attribute the depth at the dithering or at the? The dithering is a, a very important factor. Uh, the image enhancement with fine sharp, which is my favorite, is also adding a lot of depth. This is better than any yeah. standalone yeah. flash. Yeah, yeah, the, the best I've, I, I, I worked in photography for like six, seven years. And when you work in this field, you, you use a lot of sharpening filters in your Photoshop. And this is the best one I have ever seen. It it it, don't, it doesn't touch. Now imagine this on 3D. It doesn't touch. Imagine what it would do to 3D when he does the 3D. Resolutions, yeah. or low resolution area of the picture. It does just a sh yeah. and they provide yeah. the sharpness to the to the highest frequency yeah. information, Next so, year. so to speak. So it's, up, it's like what the Terranex used to do. Yeah, right, for, right. For thirty thousand. So right. I don't care. I know sixty on mine. I actually don't care. It's all not there when I get it the way the model is, it'll be there. Yeah. yeah that's the beauty of it. Yeah. Well, you can get the 3D player, yeah, the, the $200 player every, in the meantime. I'm saying if every, if every last feature isn't there when you get it, it's no big deal. You know, because you just, you just, right. you just add it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like it's a, it's not like it's a, a, a fixed box yeah. processor. With fixed cards. Yeah, with fixed cards. You know, but this is a good it. business plan, you know? This is a, this, this, Fixed box is a good business plan because you yeah. you make you, your customers buy all new stuff every two or three years when the next killer <laughs> feature is available. Uh, well, the, the, you know what? This is actually I actually have thought of this earlier, but for the the way this industry is going, this is the perfect solution. It really is because it's it's one thing you don't need a fixed box for. Uh, it doesn't matter, like with speakers or amplifiers, you know, I just don't care. So this is part of the you know, message of the you know, business that but, we're trying to... For, uh, between the video yeah. and the... And then, did you see the, the codex, case that I sent you, the military codex? case? Yeah. You yeah. want now you, flexible... You charge for that motherfucker, you know? Architecture that you can... You don't you know, you can this is because they're technical, but the client doesn't need to read this. You understand? change in the industry. And we'll have the very smart. most best audio, video, everything, HDR, everything. So how how would you get a 4K Blu-ray to this through a uh, Black Magic card? In a Black Magic card, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. But how, like, how, how powerful this is, and it's it, it's yeah. it's done live. That's what that's what I asked them earlier. Uh, that's why I asked them about the external devices. Any you. external device can go through this. The other card I had was 4K, yeah. and it couldn't handle the Black Magic. Remember, I told you that I did. I returned their Black Magic. Yeah. But now I beat the bullet. And then I needed a bigger power supply, so I got a huge power. It's a thousand, and when I plugged the so this can read all my <laughs> when I so plugged it, the, the other part my, of my house went all dead. All the stuff that my um, my uh, request burned, all those ISO images. Yeah, I you, could just suck it all up into this. It do this out of my and recatalog and just recatalog it on this one. So, on this one, so I'd have my I'd have my. Lower quality distribution for the house through the DR, and then I have, a higher, and I have a higher quality. And ultimately, I may phase the other ones out. And then exactly. Just, and then just That's what it, makes sense. And then, and then use, move this into my central rack. Yeah. So I'll have maybe one dedicated one for the theater, and then one that's just a whole house distribution one. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's got, you, you can evolve it. And once you catalog in the one, it's cataloged on every. Yeah, oh, this is beautiful. Very good. And not having to have, buy a, a $30,000 processor, great. you know? This is great. Um, Alan, this might interest you. Chrome Web 7, you mentioned that, right? Yeah. 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 This is a, a processing that has to be done on each and every Blu-ray, as we know. Enjoying the lecture? <laughs> well, this is really, it's very, it really makes, it's, it makes very good sense for the areas it's focusing on, because they're changing so much. Yeah. I mean, it's very, it, I think it's, it's, 
the right way to go. It is completely unprepared because we just arrived here like an hour ago. Yeah. No, no, very good. Very good. Never when he started, I said, I started texting you. I, I, I texted Anna, I texted oh, you, and said, you gotta, you gotta see this, this is shit. Brilliant. This is so, the way, this is the model. So give me this a is week. the architecture you want to use. Give me a week and let me specify a, a computer. Well, you got a wrapper, you got a wrapper. That's the big thing. You, the, yep. What you want to do is, for your your higher end clients, you gotta you gotta have like a, a dummy mode. And, yeah. yeah. You know, and you just gotta make and it. That's my admin yeah, mode yeah, where yeah, I can yeah, 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 push so all you, the buttons. So yeah. you know, you, you give them the ability to drill down. But he needs to have a video camera. He needs to have a video camera on the room. When if anything goes bad, he can see what the hell is going on. Is what like we're gonna do in Russia. Well, but 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 he, all he has to do is wrapper this thing. If you wrapper it with yeah. simple with a very simple interface. Give the customer like a few options he yeah, can exactly. select from, and each option is configured in a different way. Bingo. And go. This is yeah. Bingo. That's all you got to do. You make it as simple as possible, yeah. and then then you have expert mode. And so when, when somebody wants to get into expert mode, yeah. they can go in expert mode. But you don't. You don't. So like for example, for my house, my wife would be in dummy mode, right? I mean, it'd be basically. <laughs> oh, she, I'm she, recording. <laughs> no, no, she, she's like that. She doesn't like to deal with systems, right? Yeah, right. I mean, she's a freaking doctor. She's smart as shit. Yeah, but she doesn't yeah. want to deal with it, right? So you give her something very simple. The kids are something simple, they can't screw it up, yeah. you know, and then you have then, if you want to do a little bit more, but the reality is, once this is configured, why? Unless, you, unless you're somebody who likes to tweak stuff all the yeah. time, if it's already optimized, why do you, why do you go in? And but, but your dummy mode is basically your Qi remote, the thing you use on your iPad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you, you have your, your PC standing in a corner, in a back corner, and yeah. never been touched, and, and you yeah. use this just for configuration and administration right. Right. and all the other family members and yourself because it's just convenient and right. it's you, got, you got your tab you got your tablet yeah. you just you use your, your tablet, tablet. Yeah. And that's exactly you on your tablet um, the zooms are basically a set of configuration yeah. that what you ma meant with different options yeah so you just give them the option to select between three four five six zooms yeah. on the ipad that's 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 so the for, way but, I use it. But for sure, my girlfriend doesn't <laughs> doesn't yeah, right, right. like to see. Doesn't all Darby these have a, so, a computer thing? Darby, the Darby you probably filter. Eventually, you'll be able to do things like cover flow. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, you they have it for the computer. Like, you don't talk about the cover flow. Where you yeah. just yeah. 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 Th that's integrated. It's still there. Well, it's already there. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, eventually, it's, it's already there. Yeah. 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 It, didn't, it didn't uh, read uh, the covers. It's either. very impressive. No, it's three-dimensional cover flow. Yeah, cover flow. Yeah. Look at the icons at the bottom. How nice. Yeah. This is brilliant. This is absolutely the way to go. Show. I mean, you nailed it. You guys nailed it. This is actually for this market, absolutely the way to go. So, what is the very best? Yeah, here we go. Chrome, a few words about Chrome app sampling. You have to do this. So you have to go from the 420 uh, to the 444. Yeah. So you have to do it on each percent. and every Blu ray. Okay. Okay. So you we have. We have. have, we have, have 90% of it. You see, you see, these are the different uh, algorithms that we have at hand. Yeah. You see at the right side um, the, the characteristics, characteristics yeah. of each. Yeah. So you have the nearest ne neighbor, which is basically no interpolation or filtering at all. You know, okay. it's just it's just upsampling by doubling. Okay. It would be just that's what the barcode does, by the way. Okay. <laughs> so this is the lowest possible quality. We should we should get um, like if you have a test chart, the difference would be striking. Mm -hmm. So if we have Stacy Spears, for example, his chroma yeah. test chart you would re really see the quality difference between those. So Billing Yard is a very performance-friendly uh, 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 kind of algorithm. What is usually used in OPPO and and external video by cubic, by cubic is Catmull Raw, oh, yeah, Catmull. Uh, which is um, a variant, uh, a variety of, of B-cubic. It's just a B-cubic with, with certain uh, distinct uh, parameters. So now we're looking at an OPPO uh Upscaling and yeah, from upscaling. This would be what the output does of P cubic. You can select uh, different levels of sharpness here with, with the trade off of um, increasing aliasing. So we can go to an algorithm which is basically not done in the industry because it's way too power uh, consuming. But not for me. <laughs> okay. Lanctus is, is something. Um, 
which is usually used in, in Photoshop mm -hmm. for, for resizing images at a very high quality. Yeah. Um, then we go, that's just a few, over the years, uh, Matthias has, has, has tried, this is one of his favorite, favorite uh, parts to try out different uh, scaling algorithms and he, he is doing that <laughs> all year long and, and every three or four months he comes up with the next best thing and uh, usually it's very power hungry um, and, and if your hardware supports it you get a free quality upgrade by it. So the best algorithm that is available right now is this one and you have the option of uh, choosing between a few neurons, 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 but I put the 256, which, which is basically doubling your, your, um, processing requirement. So with each step, <laughs> Peter wants to go all in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I go all in, especially for Peter. <laughs> Let me, uh, yeah, you bought the graphic card. Let's see how good it is. Shouldn't be a problem now. It stays smooth, no drop frames. You can even have, This is has an it's on screen. Amazing. It's amazing what it's doing in this picture. You just you can watch it. And it's like oh this. Crap. This is an has an on screen display. The, the match fire where you can see how many frames it dropped for the past <laughs> hours, and you can adjust the refresh rate of the graphic driver accordingly. If there is a li little mismatch, like long drop frames per ten hours, you can <laughs> you can play so long as you have. <laughs> Uh, you know what's interesting? I, I, I went on the forum for J River. Yep. None of these guys, none of the guys on it no, talk about no, any of this stuff. So you don't get. It's just like a simple media server. Uh, the nearest guys. neighbor. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The ABS forum. The nearest neighbor is what the Barco yeah. has. Yeah. Eh? Yep. Yeah. So you don't have to select either one. None of those guys know this stuff. Really. No. They don't. They do. They don't talk about it. He went all the way for the last one from Maddie and uh, yep. and and then he gave it neurons. Yeah. And that's the one with the neurons. That's that's pretty much. The, oh, we have activate super res filter. Oh, that's please! Even, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's even increasingly cool. I'm sure you see it. Um, it, it would it would get obvious if we have would have uh, uh, 4K playback uh, demonstration. We are still on full HD now, so this is just yeah, full yeah. HD. Ah, wow. just get a double card, okay? Because you're gonna use it by the time you see, load it up all this shit on 4K. I will get a double video card. So. Um, the same thing with, with image downscaling, like you have 4K content and want to play back on a full HD display, but much more interesting is the other way around. And there you can also, uh, image doubling, I have, I have configured it like that, we, because we tried it out in your TV set in mm -hmm. 4K. 4K. Yeah, we just um, upsampled uh, the Blu-ray to 4K output and <laughs> this is really, really a high demand on the, the video board, but it, it's quite fine. And it, went, it doesn't, and you want to use... But you don't think for this projector, you don't think for these projectors we should put two video cards? For this projector? For this one? With high frame rate and all of that shit? Yeah, I, yeah. I, will, I will specify <laughs> something suitable to max it all out with the current the current officer. But listen, like, oh, you, you can How does it work with two video cards? How, 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 can, how can they do, how interact can they, with each other? Yeah, how, do they, how does that work? Uh, they're basically rendering each other uh, line. They, so work they, are, they work in parallel or sequential? No, they work in parallel and, and uh, basically they have a communication cable that's the SLI, this is a special uh, connector uh -huh. which connects them and keeps it in sync. Uh, keeps it in sync, right? And basically, you let one GPU render each even uh, line, and the other each odd line. So, by the way, that, that's the concept I was talking about for those DSP limitations. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, but this is a video processor that ha that is already designed for. No, it. I'm just saying, but that's what you that's what you do is you actually parallel processing. You, yeah, you parallel cascade, pro you, you cascade, and uh, uh, let, let the original Terranex was a parallel yeah. processor. But yeah, with this, you don't screw that. You just <laughs> Yeah. Howard, can you minimize throw, this window? You just throw a bunch of CPU on it and you're fine. I just want, now that you have the, uh, the 
chrome up sh shampling and all that shit. I want look at the this. depth of the fire. It's pretty much the get the highest quality you can get out of a Blu-ray with uh, with just native 1080p playback. Wow. So, so clean. This is like I mean, this, this is a dark scene. You, you, you know what this looks like? This looks like like old school film. I mean, yeah, this, it looks like color. It, so it, 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 it looks like, like a really nice yeah. Film, print. Know, print. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean that. Boy, it's beautiful. You, and actually, since it's a transfer, you, and can you see, see little, the grain. You, you see the see grain. The grain in there. Enough of the. It looks like you're you're watching a thirty five, you know, a seventy millimeter film or whatever. Well, you know, when you see that grain, it, and the image is cleaned up, but it, it hasn't removed any detail. No, I, I, it's, it, it adds an, a very nice effect, a comforting. Uh, it's a warm and fuzzy feeling yeah. you get from that grain, man. The depth is incredible. And yeah. we are still looking at a fifty years old movie or sixty years old movie, so. Yeah. <laughs> This is not well, the, best, the best uh, source you can have. Well, but that, but that, but but that happens to be a great movie, by the way. Point. That's the point. Because that's what, the point, yeah. Because that means your libraries yeah. that are, exactly are optimized, are, are, yeah. Yeah, are optimized yeah. to a level that you would never have yeah. thought you'd be able to get those libraries and, to. And that's really what good. you see here is that all this processing and sharpening, it's, it's really difficult to find algorithms that do, uh, don't do more harm than good. You know, like introducing yeah. ringing or uh, other artifacts. So. Yeah, that's what I don't like about the Luna Gen. It, yeah, it, it yeah, right. It's, it's it looks gimmicky. This looks still looks completely natural. organic. Yeah, yeah. If the number told you that this is IMAX, or, uh, no, but now you can see the you can see why you need your spatial color calibration there. You see the red? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the shirt, you see it? Oh, it's, it's, it's a, 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 little bit light into I mean basically you have one box now that's doing like everything all the complexity of HT yeah it's basically because yeah. you know the Alcon stuff's great right but it's basically speaker technology that's great speaker technology mm -hmm. but it's not changing that much you know it really isn't and you know they'll, they'll upgrade their their crossovers and they'll improve their drivers a little bit but nothing like what this this stuff's changing so quickly it's you know these are all these crazy Europeans doing all this stuff. <laughs> crazy <laughs> Europeans. This is out of Germany? Is this where all this is coming out of Germany? Uh, a lot of it. Uh, the video render itself is coming from Germany. Yeah, uh, lots of it is coming out of Germany. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. The, the Che River. But also, look, the altitude is French and the data set is yeah. uh, Swedish. 